This is Matthew Crowder from Trader University, and today I want to teach you how to use TradingView to build charts. If you're interested in learning trading strategies that work in both bull and bear markets, or you just want to see what I'm trading or investing in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I should say at the outset here that this is not an ad. This is not an affiliate plug. I'm not being paid or otherwise compensated to make this video. I am a paying customer of TradingView and nothing more. I really like their service, and as you know, I use it in all my videos. So the first thing to do is just to go to tradingview.com and that will take you to this page. And you'll want to just type in a, a ticker at the top here. So I'm going to type in Apple, A-A-P-L, click enter, and that will take you to this page. And then right here, this blue box where it says full featured chart, you want to click right there and that will take you to a chart. Now, if we want to remove things from the chart, remove uh, various uh, things, we can uh, go to right here, for example, it's the volume that's listed at the bottom here. We can just go up here and click the X button, which will remove it. Now, if we want to scroll in, we can use the zoom in button here, this plus button that will take us uh, a lot closer. These are uh, daily bars, daily candlesticks. We can use the minus sign if we want to zoom out. And we can also just click anywhere on the chart and drag back and forth. Now, this is the free version. I'm currently using incognito mode so that uh, I know what it looks like for the free version. I have a paid version that I use in all my videos, but I thought I'd try this out just to make sure I'm not assuming that you will have something in the free version that you will not. But you're gonna have a couple ads here every once in a while you have to click out, and that might be a reason you want to pay for this. So as I said, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can drag back and forth. The other thing you can do is you can change the length of the bars. Sorry about the ads there. Uh, so these are currently, this is currently set at D, for daily bars, you can change them to weekly bars. As you know from some of my previous videos, I like to take a look at stocks that are sort of consolidating within a weekly bar. So if we type in Snap, for example, we can see that Snap has been going sideways on the weekly bars and is now breaking out. So this can be very useful. You can also look at monthly bars where each bar is one month. And here we see how Snap is hitting uh, all time new closing highs for the month. For the most part, I will do. I will use daily bars. If I'm doing shorter term trading, like day trading, I'll probably use like a 15 minute bars, which they also have here as well. For the purposes of this video, though, we'll just stick to one day, uh, one day charts. Now, uh, let's just go back to Apple. Let's say we don't know the ticker for something. Let's say we want to do General Motors, for example. So we'll type. We can, you can also just type in, uh, just anywhere. Type in the name of the company, General Motors and it will figure out the ticker for you. And then you just click on the ticker. If you know the ticker directly, like Microsoft MSFT, you can just click directly and it will come. Now let's configure this a little bit. See this, this gear wheel up here, this is the main way that you change the chart properties. So I'll click on that. We'll start with symbol. I'm gonna get rid of the last price line. I'm gonna get rid of pre post market line, status line, Indicator titles, indicator values, this all looks good. Scales, last price label, countdown to bar close. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, makes me a little nervous, I'm gonna get rid of that. You might wanna use it though if you are doing shorter term trading and you just wanna see the sort of heads up here when that bar will close, especially if you're using 10 or 15 minute bars, but I'm gonna get rid of it for now. I always find that less is more. Appearance is pretty much set up fine. Trading, I'm gonna get rid of show positions and show orders. This is if you're actually placing trades through them. I've never done that. I guess you can probably hook up a brokerage somehow, um, but we'll get rid of we'll get rid of all of these. And then under events, I, I like seeing where the earnings ha have happened in the past. I'm not as interested in splits and dividends, so I will get rid of those and then I'll click OK. And you can see now that the chart is much cleaner. The next step would be to add some Arguments. So for example, we could add, if we wanted to add, um, well, let's see. So basically you go up here to this FX, you click this and you type in um, whatever you want to add. So we're going to add some moving averages. You just do a search. I tend to use where it says built in. So I'll click twice on moving average to add it, to add two moving average lines. And then I will go up here and under the little gear wheel, it will say settings for each one. I'm going to set the first one to the 50 day moving average. So the length will be 50. The style, I'll just leave that blue. Then I will go to the next moving average line. 
right here, click the gear wheel. This one, the style I'm gonna make red, I tend to think of that as being a slower, uh, slower moving line, and the length will be 200. Click OK. And so now we have kind of the classic chart that you've seen me use in, um, in a lot of my YouTube videos. The, uh, I like to look for moving average crossovers with the 50 day and the 200 day. So if we scroll way back out here, we can see that the last time the blue line crossed above the red line, this is an indicator that, uh, that the, the market is moving into a bullish uh, uptrending period when the blue line crosses above the red line and vice versa. And we can see that this trend has been very smooth in spite of the fact that we did have that big sell-off in March. The whole time, the blue line managed to stay above the red line. Now, um, what else can we do? We can also add the volume back in. So if I go back up here and I type in volume to start to type it, I click that, and that will add it to the chart if you wanna see the volume at the bottom here. Now we can scroll back in and just take a look. This is very helpful if we wanna see, for example, whether the stock is trading below the 50-day moving average or above, whether it's above or below the 200-day moving average. Now let's say instead of this, we wanna use Bollinger Bands. That's another one that you've probably seen me use. I'm going to first just remove all these by clicking the X. Then I'll go up here, click uh, FX, and I'll type in Bollinger Built-ins. I'll just use the top one, Bollinger Bands. I'll click it once. And then we'll again go into the gear wheel here. And uh, the length I tend to use for Bollinger Bands for the dailies is the 80 period. Style looks okay. We'll click OK. And what we have here is the middle band here is just an 80 day moving average. The outer bands are one, uh, one standard deviation, I'm sorry, two standard deviations up and two standard deviations down. If we go in here again, I should have showed you that, where it says STD dev standard deviation, there are two standard deviations up and down. If we wanted to just use maybe one standard deviation, we'd have much tighter bands. Uh, if we wanted to use um, a little, th maybe three standard deviations, we'd have wider bands. And you can see, for example, that's pretty rare for a stock, especially a stock like Microsoft, to even touch the outer bands. When it did over here, it was a fairly bearish sign. It can be a sign that a stock is over uh, overbought. If we take a look at Tesla, if you want to change the ticker again, you just type up here, TSLA. And here we can see that Tesla has a tendency more to, uh, it does seem to pause when it gets above the upper uh, Bollinger Band on three standard deviations. Uh, but this is one of those stocks that's obviously been in a very strong uptrend, so it does spend a lot of time near the upper band. I'm going to move this back down to, uh, to two standard deviations. We'll get rid of this ad, we'll get rid of that. If you get annoyed long enough, you'll definitely you'll definitely sign up as I did. And it does give you, I'm, I'm signed up for one of the professional plans, which allows me to share charts as well, which is very useful for my teaching. Now let's just remove this uh, argument one more time. And I'll show you one last thing before we go. There's a way here of toggling between, if you don't like candlesticks, for example, you can look, you can create a bar chart, which is what this is. Uh, what else do we have here? We also have, uh, if you hike, like hike in ashy, uh, if you like a line, for example. So let's do, let's just do a line here. And let's say we want to say, we want to ask ourselves, what has outperformed more this year, Tesla or Amazon? How would we do that? So if this is a daily line chart. We'd go up here and we click the, the, um, the plus sign and let's just type in Amazon, A-M-Z-N. We'll click select and then we will close it. And what you can do then is you can drag uh, back and forth here. So if we, let's scroll out a little bit, I'm going to try to make the left side equal to the beginning of 2020 roughly. So about there, and then we'll scroll in a little bit. So I'll just do this fairly roughly. And this is very helpful if you want to see performance. So for example, we can see that Amazon's up 69% on the year, which is amazing for a trillion dollar company. And Tesla's up even more, up 379%. And this can be a very helpful example if we want to add, let's see how the S&P 500 is doing compared to both of them. As we would expect, it's only up about 5%. It's certainly lagging. The S&P as a whole is lagging these amazing tech companies. Then if you want to go back, you can just, uh, you can eliminate, click the X buttons. You can take this back to candlesticks and you're back where you started with a daily chart of Tesla. 
If you found this video helpful, you will love my introductory stock trading class, which is called Learn to Trade Stocks Like a Pro. This is an online video class, and um, you'll actually, you might be interested in some of my other courses as well. Learn to Trade Stocks Like a Pro will take you sort of from A to Z, especially if you're really just getting started. I also have a course on day trading, a course, a more advanced course on momentum stocks if you really want to dig in deep and learn how to use some advanced indicators. I have a course on learning to make money with IPOs, etc. cetera, a uh, list of my favorite momentum stocks that I'm trading. And so you get access to all of these courses, all 13 courses, when you join Trader University Premium. You can click on any of these boxes and that will show you the curriculum. So for example, here is learn to trade stocks like a pro. And you can see that there's a section on candlestick charting if you know nothing about candlesticks. The most powerful trading indicators, technical indicators that I use, uh, how to really dig deep in moving averages, Bollinger Bands, Parabolics, uh, SAR, uh, and then how to place your first trade, how to use a market order, limit order, etc. So this is really, really good for beginner or intermediate traders. If you want something more advanced, you can check out the course on Momentum Stock Secrets as well as the course on swing trading with options, learn to trade futures, etc. If this is something that interests you, you can just click on the description notes below, click on the link, and it'll take you to this join page. You can see the list of all the courses. And if you scroll down, you can click where it says, get it now, which will take you to this checkout page. Now normally access to all 13 courses for 30 days is just $125, but I wanna give you a special coupon for my YouTube listeners. So if you scroll down here and click where it says have a coupon code and uh, type in YT, capital YT 99, as in YouTube 99, click update. That will take $26 off. So you get access to everything on the website uh, for just $99 for 30 days access. And again, there are no long-term, no long-term commitments, no long-term contracts or anything. You can sign up using the coupon, watch every course, and then cancel before 30 days. And you won't be charged again. If you want to stick around, I'm trying to add new courses every single month as well. And if there's something that you don't see on the website as a, a subscriber, you can just let me know and I'll make a course just for you and then share it with all the other subscribers as well. And this way I'm trying to really make Trader University the best resource online for learning how to trade, learning how to invest uh, stocks, options, futures, crypto, bonds, everything, you name it, I want to be here. And these 13 courses you'll find go into a lot of depth. And so if you have a little free time, you're tired of binging on Netflix, you want to make a good use of your weekends and really become a better investor, a better trader, this can be a great resource for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the uh, notification bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below if you found this sort of video helpful and if you'd like me to make more videos like this, or instead, if there's something else you'd like me to make a video about, be sure to drop that into the comment section below as well. Thanks a lot for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.